Mate, where you bloody been? I've been flat out like a lizard drinking, I have. And you, mate, you've been as slow as a wet week. Mate, I think it's fair to say that you're about as handy as an ashtray on a motorbike when it comes to learning Aussie English. So what is it with these colourful expressions, mate? Do Aussies actually use them? When do we use them? Why? Well, mate, like it or not, Aussies are renowned for their use of colourful phrases. Why this is, I'm not so sure. In fact, as far as I was aware, our traditional strength was the use of really short words and sentences, as well as mumbling our words. So how was it we're able to do both? Mate, you know, I think the truth is, is that it comes down once again to our rough history. Oz was full of men who didn't have much in the way of material assets. And perhaps they just took a simple delight in trying to shock or amuse one another by using colourful expressions. Eventually, those expressions, as well as the way of speaking, became part of our language. Of course, mate, we'd be here all bloody day if I tried to cover every colourful Aussie expression. And of course, the best Aussie expressions probably aren't appropriate for a product like this. But hopefully I'll give you the idea and you'll be able to identify them when they're used. For starters, mate, if you're thirsty down under, you can always say, Ah, oh, I'm as dry as a pommy's bath towel. This, of course, refers to the fact that our English friends didn't see fit to wash themselves till the 1960s. Some people also say, Oh, I'm as dry as a dead dingo's donger. But they're generally taking the piss a bit when they do that. Ah, oh, g'day, mate. Good to see you. Oh, did you bring some grog with you? I could strangle a barmaid and suck her fingers till they bled I'm so dry. Of course, mate. If you've had the misfortune of coming across a useless bastard, you could just say to him, Mate, you're about as useless as tits on a bull. And if he's not the best looking bastard and you want to tell someone else this, you could say, That bloke's as ugly as a hat full of arseholes. Or if you see a woman you think's a bit rough around the edges, you could say, Jeez, mate, she's had a fair whack with the ugly stick. Or even better, Mate, I think she fell out of the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. We could just do as Jules did. I heard that, Bruce. And mate, sorry to be the one to tell you this, but you've got a body like a burst sausage and a head like a half-sucked mango. Mate, you don't have Buckley's. Of course, mate. Jules could have also said that I had a face like a drop meat pie. Or a smashed crab. That wouldn't have been very nice, would it, mate? So, mate, if you feel that you've been a bit hard done by, you could say that you've been handed the wrong end of the pineapple. Or the rough end of the pineapple. And if a bloke's eyeing off a good sort, he might whisper to his mate, I'd be up here like a rat up a drain pipe. Although that's considered a bit offensive, mate, so I wouldn't be using that phrase. Of course, mate, if things are a bit hectic, you could use expressions like this. I only came for the bloody Sheilas. Mate, are you fair dinkum? What about Charlene, mate? I was in like bloody Flynn. Yeah, mate, sorry about that. Spoke to Charlene. Said she was busy in the blue-ass fly today, running around like a chook with its head cut off, apparently. And if you think someone's being a bit game saying something, you could say, He's got a hide. Or, he's got more hide than a herd of elephants, that bloke. And of course, mate, when you're leaving, you can use expressions like this. Oh, that's just bloody it, then. I've wasted another bloody arvo with a fair income bludging mate and a fair income snaky Sheila. So stuff you two. I'm off like a bride's nighty. Righty hey there, Brucey. See you later, mate. Yeah, Bruce. Thanks for the tucker and the grog. Cheers, Brucey. You're a good bloke, mate. Oh, well, we're all good blokes, John. How aren't we, mate? When push comes to shove, we're all good blokes. But being good blokes won't keep us alive and in with the locals at whoop whoop while I'm walk about in the outback. So we'd better grab some fair income tucker and gear. I'll pop off and have a squeeze in my kitchen in my bedroom, and you can grab the ute and meet me there. Then we'll be off like a piece of cheese, mate. Okay, mate. We're finally off to the outback then. Yep, mate. Off like a bride's nighty. And, mate, should you just need to use the dunny? Well, you could try saying the following. Well, Jono, how do you think the local tribes used to live in this area? Mate, I don't know. All I know is that I need some tucker. I need to drain the lizard. Well, good on you, Brucey. Of course, mate. As you would imagine, there's an absolutely crazy number of ways to do this. 
You could say that you're off for a slash, off to siphon the python, off to point Percy at the porcelain, sometimes the pommy porcelain, off to splash the boots, water the horses, shake hands with the wife's best friend, shake hands with the unemployed. Mate, the list just goes on. And mate, if you have the misfortune of coming across someone who's a bit troppo or crazy, well then you can just say they're as mad as a cut snake. Or if they're, well, mate, if they're a bit slow, you can say that they're a stubby short of a six-pack, or a six-pack short of a carton, or even a kangaroo short of a top paddock. Bondi? Too many tourists, mate. Too crowded. How about Bells Beach? We cherry go bonds are in the waves there. Struth, Jono. That's in bloody Victoria. That'd take us 12 hours to drive there. Mate, you're a snag short of a barbie today. And if they're bloody useless, mate, then you could always say they couldn't organise a route in a brothel with a fistful of 50s. Come to think of it though, mate, that's a bit rude. And you might be better off saying they couldn't organise a piss up in a brewery, which is just as effective. Of course, mate, if you think you've been a bit hard done by, you can say... G'day, Brucey. G'day, Jono. Where is everyone? Where are all the spunks? Huh. Ask the lateral thinking, bludging bastard Jono. Fair crack of the whip, sport. Jules, sorry, love, but they've all piked. We could alternatively say... Fair suck of the sauce bottle, or fair suck of the sav. And mate, if you want to chuck a wobbly, or a nana, or a tanty, then you're said to be spitting the dummy. And if your issue isn't resolved, mate, and you get a bit upset, then you can be said to be as happy as a bastard on Father's Day. Naturally, mate, if you stuff yourself at a barbie, then you're likely to be really full. Even full as an egg, don't you reckon? Well, I don't know about you bastards, but I'm as full as a goog. You could also say that if you were pissed. Or pissed as a newt. Or bastard. Of course, mate, if you come into money and splash it about, then people will say you're as flash as a rat with a gold tooth. So, mate, there are plenty more dinkum Aussie expressions out there, so keep your ears out and make sure you slip them in at every available opportunity. We do.